Mane vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV diye osye dem yopo. Elvis Bota, one of the MPP vocal members, has also come out saying that Kwame being a vice to Alan is a big threat to the NDS MPP, sorry, MPP, and which is going to affect them greatly in the election and not the NDC. And have also given a critical analysis on how it's going to be and also warned the campaign team members of the Baumia to stop pushing those who are willing to serve the party and they are saying the correct thing or the good things to help the party and they are rather pushing them away. They should stop that otherwise more youths are going to leave the party. Without much ado, I would like you to join me listening to what he said in to data. And also remind you that this is still Pen Dream TV. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so for us. Hit the notification bell for more updates. Like and also share to other members to watch as well. You can also leave a comment after watching or send us a voice note on our WhatsApp number, which is 0277-128-777. Thank you. President Elvis. <coughs> Let me say this before I proceed with my submission. Mm. I'm going to come from two angles. Mm. One, birthday, birthday. <laughs> I'm going birthday. to come from you two know, angles. You know, you, know, you know they actually celebrate their birthday on the same day. Yes. Oh. He's mm. a 23rd March born. Mm. I'm a 23rd March, March born. born. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I'm always 23rd March born. Ah! <laughs> 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 Except that. <laughs> <laughs> Except that they happen to come from the 70s and 80s, and I came in 1990. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make my intervention from two angles. One of them is a controversial analysis of the devil's advocate in Kwame's nomination. And I'll do so very brief in just a minute or two. The second is to make an appraisal of the implication of Kwame's nomination on Ghanaian politics and the role of Ghanaian youth in two minutes. Now, because I'm going to sound controversial in my analysis just for knowledge creation, I'm actually going to state my personal opinion, what I told Kwame, when in the heat of what appeared as bashing and chastising both on him and his wife, I made a very profound statement to Kwame to encourage him. He personally actually reached me on phone to tell me about his nomination. And that was an honor. And so I'm going to read what I sent to him and what I also published on Facebook after sending it to him. I said, congratulations to my brother KOD. Now listen to my words and heed in prudence. Many will wonder why and even try to discourage you or chastise you as they are doing or disagree with you. Even me, I wish you joined me in the NPP. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, now comes my real advice to him. But, hashtag, proceed in the encouragement that there's nothing like little or small or insignificant in the algebra of nation building. History has a natural mechanism of recording heroes. These were my words to my brother, KOD, and I mean these words. And so my other analysis are only intellectual in nature. These are, this is my true position to KOD. So congratulations to him once again. Now, on a very sarcastic note, my uncle, in fact, my uncles from the NDC on the panel today, I marveled at their excitement on Kwame's nomination. I, I think that if the clock could be reversed, they may have wished Kwame uh, to be appointed as their animate to JN. <laughs> granted he was granted, 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 granted. <laughs> they are too excited and I'm wondering why they didn't get Kwame as they are ready made. Bless. No, but that is that's on the sarcastic note. Take it easy. Take, take it easy. <laughs> you know? So now 
this news came up and like daddy said the implications on the wife being a forerunner in the affairs of the running mate of the ndc yeah so she's no less a person in the campaign architecture of the ndc so for her husband to be a running mate in another political movement all right then it raises very critical concerns in the minds of ordinary people who may without a center of understanding the philosophy behind their individual paths will descend negatively and unfairly on them and that exactly was what started yesterday and i'm sure a lot of you and like daddy said you listen to one journalist making comments this morning i didn't hear that but for you to be having the outburst you had meant that they were negative now clearly at the end of the day with everything i had some of them on social media some of them on direct calls people knowing how close i am to kwame one thing that is arising okay is the fact that okay barring all else could it also be a strategic move and this is the devil's advocate angle i'm coming from could it have been a strategic move by kwame as an extension of his wife's political agenda i repeat i repeat devil's advocate because you have the movement of change so. being I mean, the movement for change being a group emerging or that emerged from the NPP as a wing that opposed to mainstream NPP ways of doing things. And in their judgment, most of whom were actually unfair to Mr. Alan Kojo Chiramantin when he was vying to be flag bearer. And you know my personal relationship with Mr. Chiramantin as well. A man I respect and honor a lot. He's actually my father. There's no debate about it. Now, if you have a vociferous, intelligent young man like Kwame, whose political analysis, when he moves away from being a host to actually being a panelist, yeah. the trajectory of his debate, giving that complementary role with the revolutionary ideas of Alan Chiamantin, whose movement obviously from a very critical analysis of the 2024 election, he's not going to be the winner of the election. However, in the scheme of the tussle between the NPP and the NDC over the presidency, if you have KOD partner with Alan Chiamantin, it strengthens the public political communication against the NPP. Which is the incumbent? <laughs> Are you getting the analysis? Yeah. This is me being an intellectual. Is there, is there, yes. Is there, is there a fear? There's no fear. I'm producing knowledge. Mm -hmm. It has implications for all the players in the election, especially go for ahead. the NPP. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are listening to you. Go ahead. Now, if that happens, Kwame, as a youth, who will draw some youth to himself? All right and by extension to the movement for change, giving the main roots of the movement of change being Alan Chiamantin, majority of the youth and people, Kwame's aggregation with Alan or Paul, will be NPP folks than NDC folks, so, uh, obviously. So, no, I'm making an analysis, <laughs> then, respectfully. You, Are you getting it? I endorse you to So, <laughs> so <laughs> Kwame's nomination, whether it is deliberate, whether it is calculated against the NPP or not, will work a harm if it should have any move to fly. That harm will be against the NPP far more than it would the NDC. on the NDC. And that fetches indirectly, not directly, that fetches indirectly into the political basket of the, the, the ambition the wife is promoting. <laughs> so Kwame's move is not to disadvantage his wife in the NDC. Sure, sure. Kwame's move, on the contrary, okay, will advantage the position of the wife. Let's watch it. This is strategic. Sure. I don't see Kwame's nomination as a by chance thing. It's strategic. Now, this is the devil's advocate. Volume 1. Devil's Advocate, Volume 2. <laughs> I have heard 
the silly conclusion by some pundits that it may have been a movement of a young man in desperation of popularity and for the accumulation of wealth. I have heard that to have made this conversation with people also. Could that also be the case? Well, granted, in the low terms it is. This life, achievers are those who take opportunistic capitalization of circumstances. Mm. Sure. So, Kwame must proceed, therefore, in a very unapologetic manner, even if that were to be his motivation. These two postulations from the devil's advocate are critical for our analysis into the impact of movement of change in the era of Kwame Owusu Danso as running mate into the political, you know, dispensation in the coming few days. Mm. Why do I say this? By demographics, you have the reality is that a lot of Ghanaian youth, those of us in the NPP, those of us in the NDC, okay, are actually honestly fed up with the nature and treachery in our politicking. That's the reality. Now, the youth, we may not have built enough gravitas now to do as Kenya and other countries are doing. But it is like the fire set in cow dung. You know, when you set fire under cow dung, unfortunately, anytime you have the accumulation of cow, cow, cow dung, that's the, 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 the feces of cows, mm -hmm. they don't produce, you know, uh, carbon dioxide that conscious fire. They actually have a lot of potassium content. Mm -hmm. So it rather aids the fire to burn from within. You may never know there is fire under it. That is the science of cow dung. And that is why it is a good organic material to help plants work grow because of the potassium content of it. Now, it means that the, if the Guinean youth finds expression in this analogy of fire and the cow dung, then there is a time and bomb that would explode at a time we may not be able to bridle its escalation. So then, Kwame as a young man, vociferous man, I know his dynamism, all right, his, his, his relationship with people in the showbiz where he himself started from, all right, his relationship with people in the security sector where his father worked nobly, retired, and passed in peace have implications. The implications are that it's going to be a motivation to a number of Ghanaian youth, most of whom may not vote for him but will have admiration for him. And that is a credit card. Now, the danger for my party, the NPP, under these kind of circumstances, <laughs> all right, the simultaneous interactions in the happenings in that camp, okay? Now, just oppose that with the rise of another youth, Cheddar. Cheddar. That young man, Cheddar, he may not be right, but there's leadership in him. You may have questions on what the public... Or some people allege as integrity crisis of his past. Who doesn't have a past? But there is leadership in the voice of the guy. Watch him critically. He will not win elections. He may not make a significant percentage, but he will also be an inspiration to the youth. Now, the PNC had produced my own maternal senior brother, my maternal cousin, Bernard Mona. All right. He is also a young man. And he's been around for a while. He's not new within the political landscape. If not for anything, he has mastered the art of public, organizing public demonstrations against the positions of government that he thinks and believes are not in the larger interest of the Ghanaian people. Yes. So the aggregation of all of these factors strengthens the place of the Ghanaian youth at least to positively rebel via this ballot, either by way of apathy against the ruling party or by way of apathy against the civic assignment of voting. And so, on this basis, it is important for the NPP to go back to the drawing board not because they may be immediate threats by themselves, but because the dynamics in the atmosphere, especially in the communication landscape and the debates going forward, will change. 
The NPP, therefore, must be very critical and aware of these pointers I have given. And stop gagging the many people with talent and skill and intellect who can wisely talk to appease the hearts of Ghanaians who are disappointed with certain things the government have done, while simultaneously creating a platform to be able to ask for some forgiveness and to convince some of these people to give the NPP a second chance. Mm. Very critical for the NPP because we may be able to make the 50% as a party. So the 50% is not the problem. The fundamental denominator in the derivative here is the plus one required by any of the parties to win. But I'm concerned about the NPP here. My uncles can be concerned about the NDC. So granted, with the so-called those we perceive as superhuman in the NPP and have actually mortgaged the communication the strategic communication of the party to just an individual or two who must garner all the popularity and a few people who sometimes do actually not make sense i've been telling my party that if there is a major problem in the npp in this election it is our inability to communicate some of the success stories the government have made and what has that done it has promoted negativity against us than positive sometimes one good can be the reason a soul will be saved from hell all right we saw it in the case of the alabaster woman so even if there is that one good about the npp how are we communicating it the politics of communication in the npp may cause our defeat in the coming election can we correct that a lot of us may be disappointed but a lot of us are willing to right the wrongs of the NPP in another NPP administration. In that regard, can the hierarchy of Dr. Baumier's campaign stop gagging and stop pushing away people who want to bring in an element of truth, honest in our analysis that, look, we are wrong here, let's admit it, we are correct here, let us promote it. Can they stop pushing us away? Else, what Kwame just did, will begin to replicate in a number of critical MPP youth. If there are men of wisdom leading the charge in this few 80-something days left in the MPP, this is the time they have to call on us. Right. This is the time for us to go back to the analysis board, all right, and place a good step out there. Congratulations to Kwame. Fire on double cylinders. You are not answerable to any human kind of your aspirations and your endeavors. Just take good counsel and make a move. Never sit. Never stay stationary. You must at all times, and this goes to the Guinean youth, we must at all times fly. Be on the move. If we cannot fly, please let us run. If we cannot run, I beg, let us walk. If we cannot brisk walk, and we have to crawl, let us crawl, yeah. but by all means, we must keep Be moving. Moving, right. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is my daddy saying? You've been giving the motion, and it didn't suffice. We'll let you take up. It is a village. I hold no comment. Well, right. Let's, let's, let's do some messages. Uh, our time is up, but I'll, I'll take time to uh, do a few messages. I've received several of them. Uh, this one here says, You are real, Dr. Elvis. Thanks for throwing light on. Uh, NKB Cheddar. He's a great guy who made it from nothing, period. All right, thank you for your message. Uh, please let's pray for our brother uh, Kwame for his new appointment in politics. Politics. Wish him Allah's blessings and protection from Zongo Youth President Ashanti Region Alaji Kuko Said. Thanks and many thanks goes to the Almighty Allah. Thank you so much for your message. Wow, anytime I live, I listen to Elvis speak, I learn something new. I like to listen to him speak. I know some MPP members will not be happy with what he's saying, but it's factual and you are very factual. All right, thank you. Um, good morning, my brothers. And <clears throat> by by. Allah, I really admire uh, the MPP guy. I like him so much. Brother Kwame Usudan, so congratulations to you uh, from uh, Malam. Okay, all right. Thank you. Uh, 
Your Excellency, your, your comments about Kwame's choice is so joyous to hear. Uh, but don't you see it as negative to the NDC? They do from... <laughs> Like I analyze, <clears throat> it's negative to the NPP, yeah. uh, especially in terms of communication. Yeah. Watch it, yeah. the NDC is happy. Uh, yeah. But that is not to say that you are preparing to go and destroy him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, As for your people, we, me, we me, you. me, right. you uh, me. Uh, me. Uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll I'll do, at the personal level as I'll, I'll, I'll do a few more messages. Uh, this one is coming from Deepku Ishmael. Champion KOD, accept my warm congratulations on your nomination as a running mate to Honorable Alam. Uh, though I had wished you joined the NDC. I don't doubt your competence as a musician, journalist, lawyer, and now a politician. Congratulations to you once again, my brother, uh, Dipku Ishmael, at Wa Old Traffic Light. Elvis knows that, I'm sure. Yes. Mm. He's, he's, he's a great guy. Yes. Um, let's uh, do some more. Good morning, Bless. Age in governance has no use. Uh, what has an 80 year old done to Ghana? George Indebugri from Wa. Uh, right, thank you, George. This is Peter from Tamalitel, uh, Apostle Elvis Bota. I need his number. Okay. Alaji uh, <laughs> Said. Alaji Said, yeah. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Bless. Uh, what am I reading on your screen? QED as running mate of Alan. Wow. Yes. I see. Mashallah. Uh, 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 sorry, Ambassador Sampiali, I'm leaving NDC to the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is analysis. The NDC is happy because directly, even if they are not involved in the processes influencing this guy is going there, my senior uh -huh. brother is going there, <laughs> but it still works in their good. This is MPP <laughs> must <laughs> do analysis. I'm telling you, it, it's not. <laughs> but it's I'm not. being honest. But, uh, bless. Mm -hmm. In all this, mm -hmm. I want to tell my son, mm -hmm. K.O.D., mm -hmm. that he was not chosen because he was arrogant. Yeah. He was not chosen because he's rude. And he has no business to travel on that tangent. On that tangent. Yeah. No, he has no business whatsoever. Yeah. If he goes that way, you harm himself. Yeah. The people you see on your way up and yeah, the people see, you see on your way, way down. down. Right. You know. Yeah. I, to those NDC people who are not happy with my comments, mm. I would make the same comments mm. if any of them mm -hmm. was given the same the chance. Yeah. My comment is coming from the fact that when you see a rose flower bathing nicely in somebody's garden, you don't approach it. Yeah. You admire it. You yeah. actually made it clear in your submission. And yeah. especially so when the person in question is one who has not disgraced himself mm. in the pol body politics of Ghana. Mm. You understand? From a musician, from a low beginning to that level, must be appreciated. Yeah. And like Elvis said, the youth has something to, to celebrate about, isn't it? And for me, the equation of Buddha, I'm not getting the, 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 uh, the, the theory properly. <laughs> I'm not getting the, prop, the theory properly. You see, in politics, you take advantage. Ah, should there be a, a, a running, a what? A run off, what is going to happen? I will go to my nephew to talk to him. So the matter is closed. Right. Uh, you see? Uh, so the is now. Right. Uh, good morning, Bless. Good morning, Bless. My congratulations to KOD. My regards to my brother, uh, Dr. Bota, uh, Stephen Peng from WAP. Uh, Stephen oh, Peng is, is, is one of our ardent viewers, actually classmates to, uh, he was classmate to Alaji ABF Husseini. So he's not, he's not, a, he's not a, a small one, yes. He's, 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 um, he's a senior citizen, one of our viewers. Yes, yes. Um, uh, doctor on the panel is uh, a good communicator. I like his analysis. He's great. The MPP big man should immediately call him specifically this time, even though I'm an NDC. All right, thank you. Uh, this one here says, uh, good morning, bless. My regards to uh, Mr. Richter and 
all the panel members. I've enjoyed today's conversation. All right, thank you so much, Abdul Rahman. You sent that one. Uh, Brad from Kintampo says, Congratulations to my boss, KOD. Uh, congratulations to my mentor, KOD. We know he is where he is from God, and God is going to bless him. Congratulations once again. May Allah guide him in all his political endeavors. Okay, you didn't tell me your name. Uh, this one here says that, do you know that uh, Sefa Kain and many others were trained in journalism by Radio Gold? Do you know that Baumia got scholarship during the NDC regime and was invited by Dr. Dufour to the Bank of Ghana? Uh, all right. Uh, right. Thank you so much for your message and for that information. Good morning to your panelists. In fact, Dr. Office, I admire you. Can I get your number, please? I'm Ignatius from uh, Bolga. Ignatius from Bolga. <laughs> um, good morning host in fact I'm very happy to hear that Alan has chosen a brother Kwame to his running mate uh, Kwame is not a careless driver it is God who who has pushed Kwame let's be happy and pray for him as ambassador said from Kucho Zongo youth president uh, I'll do some I'll do a few more messages from Facebook Mohammed Mizba Udin says I know Kwame also done so so will deliver as the running mate of Alan Mohammed in Techiman um Dear host, tell me service that he's good in uh, in, in, in politics, but he's in the wrong party. Uh, Rashid says, I'm Rashid from Gambaga. I admire Elvis anytime he speaks. Keep it up. And, and I must confess, uh, I want to be your, I want to be a, a role, uh, I want to be your, you, you, I want you to be my role model. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Jojo says, good morning, Koku and and uh, the panelists, especially Ambassador Sampiali. Please give my warm congratulations to lawyer KOD. Okay, uh, Kuku Boss Steven says, good morning, Pan-African TV. I want to use this opportunity to congratulate uh, Kwame Osu Dan. So, all right, so congratulations are in order. Uh, See, Bless, mm -hmm. I want to interview uh, our former MP, uh, the one who says a lot of problems. Mm. 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 Because on a program, you can mention KOD's name about 100 times. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, but, but, but interestingly, he doesn't, he, does, he doesn't make a mistake when I'm the one who's him. He wouldn't mention... No, but that guy is sharp. Yes. He's sharp. Uncle, Uncle yes. Uncle yeah, well, yes. No, I really want to hear his yes. comment about disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so he called me yesterday. Oh, one of the <laughs> so one of the people... So, I so, hey, am not yes. saying... <laughs> And that, yes. Listen, in international <laughs> political <laughs> theory, <laughs> ah, there is this minority party alliance and that can collapse a government. Yes. That is she, what is she, happening. She, she, no, 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 I, I don't know where your fear is. No, I'm not no, afraid. No, 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 aside no, from the no, beginning, no, no, I'm being conclude. intellectual. Let us conclude that mm -hmm. Evers is in the wrong party. Oh, he's been told you that a million party. times. If this is the umpteenth time he's hearing that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this right. acquisition of knowledge. Um, I, I, our time is up. But, but, but Stephen Penn is actually <laughs> reminding me that ABA, ABA uh, I like the ABA for sitting was actually two years his junior. Oh, oh I see. Yes, so Stephen Penn is not a small man. He's an ardent viewer. Okay. He's always glued to Pan-African television. And he's my father. Is yes. Not? So we are, we are in the same class. Even though I owe him a, I owe <laughs> yeah, exactly. him, I owe him a call. <laughs> we are in the same class. Right, so um, that's all time will permit us for today. It's been a pleasure coming your way with today's segment of Good Morning Africa. The newspaper review segment, I beg your pardon. Thank you, Elvis Bota. Thank you, uh, Ambassador Sampiale. Thank you, Mr. Ristaniyama Matthew. It's been an insightful conversation. And to you at home, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching Pen Dream TV. Really appreciate your time. Please, if you have not yet subscribed as a new member, please do so for us because this is the best place to receive the latest gist in politics. Do share the link to other members on your contact list as well or your WhatsApp groups so that they will know what is happening around the political arena. We are in the election year, so you have to be abreast with anything, any latest gist in the political arena so that you know the steps to take next. Thank you. Uh, David Kama, I'm in the Pendrim TV. Now, so far, so good. Say, so, open okay, online portal, what Ghana? Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, have TV.